Welcome to Getting Started with Game Creator. In this fifth episode, we'll cover how to create characters and see some of their most powerful features. To create a character is as easy as right-clicking on the hierarchy panel and select Create, Game Creator, Characters, Character. Game Creator characters are highly flexible and fully animated with many features that work out of the box. Let's cover some of them by exploring a simple example. We'll create a cube that, when clicked, it will signal the character to come closer and yell at the player. First of all, let's see how we can change the default model of our character. To do so, we open the Character Model section in the Inspector. We have already downloaded this model from Mixamo, but you can use any you want. We now drag the model onto the Drop Your 3D Model and voila! Now that we have our character all dressed up, let's see how we can interact with it. We need to create a cube with a trigger component that detects when the user clicks it. We can do this by clicking at the Add Component button, searching for trigger. Then set the trigger type as on mouse left click. We create an actions object that will be called when the trigger detects a mouse click. This action will be responsible for playing a sound and signaling the character to come near the cube. Let's start by adding an action called Play Sound. I already have an audio clip here that I like, but you can use any you want. Now we need to tell the character to move closer to the cube. We use the Move Character action and drag the character onto the target field. This action tells the character to move to a certain position, object or marker. A marker is an arrow-shaped component that allows to set the destination of a character as well as align it towards where the marker points. To create one, click on the yellow button on the Game Creator's toolbar. Let's adjust its position. Now let's drag the marker onto the Move Character Target field. If we hit play, we should be able to click on the cube and see how a sound effect is played while the character comes closer. Great! Next phase, yelling at the player. Game Creator comes with a custom animation system built on top of Unity's that greatly simplifies playing animations. There are two animation types. States, which are looped animations, such as sitting on a chair, sneaking crouched, or moving like a zombie. And gestures, which are animations that are played once, like throwing a punch, picking up an object, or blowing a kiss. To yell at the player, we'll use the Character Gesture action. Game Creator comes with pre-made collections of animations to choose from. We'll pick one called Yell, but you can import your own custom ones and use them as well. Let's enter play mode and see how it goes. Awesome! Notice how Game Creator comes with a built-in inverse kinematic system for legs, hands, and head. Inverse kinematics allows characters to correctly align their feet on uneven terrain. You can enable or disable these options in the Character Animator component. Game Creator also comes with a subtype of character called the Player. Players are characters that have one extra section in the inspector that allows to choose how the user controls them. 